Now, these social media threats targeting schools nationally and locally are taking a toll on law enforcement, spanning federal, state, and local agencies. We talked to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office and local FBI on the impact the increase in school threats is having on their work. It's multiple a week. It is definitely a problem. Since school started, the local FBI field office tells me it's diverting agents weekly for alleged threats in our region. It does take agents that are working other violations to come in and then investigate those matters, determine whether they are valid. So it is, it is hugely impactful on the division. An issue also impacting law enforcement in Monroe County. Ultimately, it draws away from our response time to anything else. If there's a car accident, you know, if there's a, you know, burglary or any kind of job going on like that, obviously, again, we're talking about kids here, so that's going to be the top priority. The threats are appearing on social media platforms like Snapchat and TikTok, claiming an incident will happen, but generally don't list a particular school or area. Those are tough because, again, we never, we never want to just assume anything's ever a hoax, right? These are everybody's kids that we're talking about. These are the teachers who are there to help the kids and, you know, all the staff. These are people we care about. Monroe County Sheriff's Office tell me the response also depends on the type of threat made and the number of resources needed. The FBI says the current trend in online threats could be in response to the Georgia school shooting less than three weeks ago. Anytime there's a mass shooting in a school that receives national attention, in the weeks following that, we always see a statistical increase in the number of these types of threats. Meanwhile, law enforcement is advising people not to share or like possible threats and have a serious conversation with your kids. We need you to talk with your kids so that they understand that these kind of threats, while it might seem funny amongst your friend group is something that's totally unacceptable. Now we're still waiting on overtime data from the FBI and Sheriff's Office concerning the response to local school threats.